You guys, today is a tag video. Hello, if this is your first time to the channel, I'm Sheree. Welcome, and if you are returning, thank you so much, and welcome back. Yes, this is a tag video. I was tagged by my beautiful friend, Lux of Paris. She loves luxury, she loves Louis Vuitton, she loves amazing fragrances, Chanel nail polish. She is a pleasure to watch. I will put her channel in the description box below, so make sure you check it out, and I believe this tag was actually started by meet penelope i could be wrong okay but i think i'm right i believe it was started by meet penelope so i will put her channel in the description box as well you guys pull up a seat we have got to talk i am doing a tag video but in this tag video it is five luxury items that youtube made me buy i really get a lot of inspirations from instagram because i live on instagram i absolutely love instagram instagram pinterest youtube all of those are where i get a lot of inspiration from so a lot of these were from instagram as well as YouTube but I have a story time to share there is one item on here you guys like I kid you not if you've been watching the channel for any amount of time you are gonna know exactly what I'm talking about and if not stay along you will soon <laughs> you will soon see what it is and figure it out I had an item that has been on my wish list that has been on my should I say prayer list was I praying about this close you guys close I have been looking for this item for over a year. It has been on every wish list that I've ever created since I've started a YouTube channel, coming up on almost a year and a half now. I don't know, somewhere in that range. But you guys, I have been looking for it over and over and over. Um, I finally found it, and I got it. But there is a story that came with it. Was I scammed? I'm not, this isn't even like that. Like you have got to listen and stick around. Let me share my story time with you. I hope that it can help somebody. On this channel, I do cover fashion, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. So if you like any of those things or all of those things, make sure you smash that subscribe button. And if you wanna ensure that you never miss a video, hit the bell and it will notify you every single time a video is placed on this channel. Pull up a seat, grab a snack. Where's my, oh shoot, I don't even, I forgot my water. Dang it, I hate when that happens. Anyways, um, let's go quick because you know I always say I'm gonna keep it short and sweet and I don't know, I just discovered you guys. My mom told me this my whole life but I just found it out for myself. I like to talk, so forgive me. Okay, so anyways, YouTube made me buy this. I don't know why I thought I needed it. I just was like, okay, I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't need this. I've seen so many of the girls here on YouTube using it and telling about it and how helpful it was. And I said, can I put that in my collection and would there be a good need for it in my collection? And I'm talking about none other than the six ring key holder. Why I have the six ring key holder, I have no idea because I only have three keys. Okay, I could have got the four ring, but I might get something. I might own my own business one day. Hello, my own person perfume company one day and I gotta be able to put the key inside so I'm dreaming big and I am speaking it into existence so I have got the six ring key holder I've seen this as all the rage all over YouTube all over Instagram and I was like yeah I gotta have it and then the thing that came in handy is that I'm not driving okay I always tell you guys I'm not driving like if I go out I don't want to drive but if I have to drive I have noticed that putting this inside my handbag I can find my keys easily they're very ready and available and another thing is my keys don't scratch my back so there was a good need for it so thank you YouTube thank you Instagram second thing I spoke about this on the channel recently my mini pochette I was thinking why in the world do I need this I could just keep all my stuff you guys you should have seen what I was keeping my stuff in, okay? And she's a fancy girl. You should have seen what I was keeping my stuff in. It was like a little Chanel little pouch, just because it said Chanel. And I was like, oh, this is great, this is great. So I had my stuff in there, went to Louis Vuitton, and I was like, oh my God, let me see it. And you know, I played with it, and I seen all the girls, how they were using it, putting, you know, carrying it as a little mini purse, carrying it, I have a whole video on it, okay? Just doing tons of stuff with it. And I said, I could probably really utilize that. Since I picked it up and purchased it, I have not been able to put it down. I transformed this in every single handbag that I'm carrying. If it doesn't fit, then I'll scale down a little bit, but predominantly I am carrying this in every handbag. So this was a good investment and a good purchase. I'm very well pleased with everything. Everything I'm telling you about, I'm super well pleased with and I would recommend it if I was talking girlfriend to girlfriend or girlfriend to guy friend, I would definitely be like, yes, get this in your collection. So this is good. Um, 
Another thing is this little YSL card holder here. Now this was on the radar about six months ago to be gone. Cause I was like, I don't have time for it. I don't use it. I don't have anything. When I originally fell in love with it, I was like, yes, I need that a little pop of color, put my cards in, you know, look different, have something different in my collection. I didn't have any like card holders. I have the key clay. I recently accumulated some, but it wasn't a big thing on my radar. I just kept my things in my key clay. I just have that card. I have about six or seven cards and that's where I store things. But this I want. It. I love YSL. I love the little um, gold detail hardware here. It's super cute. And I was thinking about six months ago, I think I did a video and I'm like, I was going to get rid of it. I was going to sell it. I didn't know what to do with it. And then a lot of you guys, shout out to the subscribers, uh, subscribers, shout out to you guys. We're like, don't do it. Don't sell it. Use it for your gift cards. And look at this, you guys. It is stacked. Okay. What gift card tree? You need to go out and go shopping. I really do. Oh, this is a Starbucks one. Okay, okay, we're not here for that. Okay, so anyways, my card holder. I absolutely love this. I have found so much use for it, and I love the little pop of color that it adds inside any of my bags. Another item, stick it, I should have just stuck with Louis Vuitton, but I broke it up. Another item that was really hard to find, but I'm so glad I did. I've seen this all over Instagram. I've seen this all over YouTube. The Toiletry 26. All of these items were really, really hard to come by, and that's a lot of times why I tell you guys, make sure that you are working with an essay, a client advisor, somebody that can help you. Go into the boutique, into the stores, leave your name on the list. I think sometimes they ask you to leave a credit card as well, and if something comes in, they call you right away, and they'll say, hey, the Toiletry 26 has come in do you want me to charge it and then they can either ship it to you or you could be like me I love the experience I love always going to the store plus I want to inspect it but if you live far away from the store and you can't possibly get to one you can have it shipped to you you do have 14 days I believe to return it so if you got it and it wasn't in mint condition or it wasn't what you wanted you can still return it but get your names on the list for some of these harder items to uh, purchase and another thing I found out is that by going on some of the pre-love websites you can find some of these items but generally they are more expensive expensive than the ones that you would buy new. So if you have a client advisor or someone that you can work with that you can put your name on the list, that way they'll be sure to call you and let you know when something comes in. They are rare, but it can happen. I didn't give up. I wanted this and I just lucked up on it, blessed up on it, blessed up, it glowed up and got it. So this is super handy. I use it as a clutch. I use it as a keep all, a catch all. You know, I have plenty of uh, reviews on my channel about this. So if you want to see how I'm styling it and carrying it, check out my Instagram or you can also watch some of the videos on the channel regarding this little toiletry 26 it's a cute little thing to have in your collection oh she loves it okay now I got through those because I wanted to tell you guys about the story time so pull up a chair we are not done there's this one item that has been on my list forever. Instagram made me fall in love with it. YouTube made me fall in love with it. Seeing people in real life made me fall in love with it. And I just couldn't get my hands on it until one Saturday morning I was lying in bed and I got a bing. And I looked at my phone and I was like, oh my God, what is this? And it was a message from an amazing subscriber named Kim who said, hey, I think I found the earrings that you're looking for. Are these them? And I clicked on it and I was like, oh my God, oh my God, it's them, it's them, right? And I'm like, yes, 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 these are. So I told her, oh my God, I'll keep you posted. So I clicked on, she sent me a link from Poshmark and I clicked, I clicked on to, I'm so, I can't even get the story out. Breathe, girl. I clicked on the link. And I was like, oh my God. So I went right over to the seller, put my bid in, whatever it's called, you guys. Put it in, she accepted it. I'm like, oh my God, okay, we're in there. So then I got something, I don't know, that said, you know, you're, it was tracking, you know how it goes. The tracking thing, whatever, whatever. And all of a sudden, I don't know if it was days later, a couple days later, it could have been the same day. I, I just, it was just, it just happened. Okay, let's put it like that. My phone started going off, ding, ding, ding. And it was all Poshmark. And I'm like, you know, they give you the little Poshmark symbol. And you know, it's Poshmark. And I'm like, hmm, because I have a Poshmark account. I don't really have anything on there. I don't really sell anything. I had some bags on there. I took them off. I was like, whatever. So anyhow, um, I'm like, what is this about? You know, I'm thinking maybe she has to tell me something. I'm like, I don't know, but whatever. So I look at it. And then this girl on there or somebody on there is like, you just bought fake earrings. I'm like, what? 
what is she talking about? So I, I'm going through, and then another person comes on and said, girl, those earrings you just bought are fake. And I'm like, what in the world? So I'm like, what is going on? So I go back over, I'm looking, I'm trying to check out these people's accounts to see who they are and what they're talking about and what's going on. And I'm like, um, I'm uncertain what you're talking about. I haven't even bought anything yet because you have to accept it, you know, release the funds before you actually get it. And she was like, you know, she was really nice. Everybody was nice. They were just seeming like they were trying to help. But you know, when you first hear messages and read stuff like that, you're like, what in the world? So all of a sudden, make a long story short, you guys, this went on for two and a half, almost three weeks. I'm just going to cut this short. It's, I am going to try and cut this story as short as possible. This went three and a half to two and a half to three weeks. Let's put it like that. I hope this can help somebody. Stay with me. Stay with me. I want to help somebody and that is why I'm sharing my story. So here are the earrings. Let's give you some eye candy to look at. It came in a package like this. Okay. It came in this box and then it came in this Chanel thing here and then it came in the regular little thing that it comes in. You know, the, the cloth, the cloth. So they came in, you know, the little thing that came in and these are them. You know, you know. So you already know. I'm sure you've seen these like a thousand and one times. I was looking for these. I have been looking for these, searching high and low and just cannot find them. So I finally get them and I get my hands on them and then I'm getting those emails or things saying that there is. So I go right over to the seller, let's put these down, okay? Let's go, I go right over to the seller and I'm like, because now I've completely jumped out of my own mind and I'm like all psyching myself out. I'm like, oh my God, you <laughs> are you trying to scam me? Are you selling me things, Chanel earrings? And she's like, what are you talking about? And I'm like, well, you know, people are saying they're fake and blah, 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 blah. And I'm just like, oh my God, you guys, I'm totally in my feelings at this point. And so she's like, no, no. And so I automatically take it to Poshmark and I send out tons of emails. I'm like, hey, you know, these earrings are not real. I hear they haven't been authenticated. Like, what is the deal like what's the tea am I gonna get my money back like I work hard for my money blah 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 you know how we get right so I'm all doing this and I'm like what is the deal and the lady the seller who was so nice I'm not bad mash I'm a, I'm not about that I can't even talk I'm not bad mouthing anyone Poshmark the people who told me they were fake or the seller I'm not bad mouthing them I'm just sharing the story so the seller gets on there and she's like oh my god you know relax calm down I'll send you proof I'll send you the authenticity card and she said I have them authenticated I have the proof I have the emails I have the text messages I have this. she went to every extreme to ensure me that they were legit that they were for real that they weren't a replica, that they weren't a fake. She's like, what else do you want me to do? What else do you want me to prove? Here's this, here's that. And I got pictures and, you know, text messages and emails and stuff from the, from the place she took it to to have it authenticated. She's like, here's everything. So then Poshmark comes back and they're like, what can we do to help? We sent them through the process and they met the Chanel guidelines. They are not a replica. They are not fake. You are, these are insured to be what they say they are, what the seller is saying that they are. So I'm like, okay, so I have them. I got them and I was just like, oh my God. But at first you guys, I was so, so once I got all the proof, I was kind of like, okay, I felt a little bit better, but still you have that in the back of your mind. Like, did somebody play me? Like, did, did, did I get scammed? Like what happened? Like, sh should I have not bought these? Like, what was the case? So, you know, I have a friend who has an exact pair. And so I was matching them up. I told my son, he's like, mom, what's wrong? Cause I'm like in tears at this point. Like, oh my God, I don't, I, you know, like what happened? What happened? And he's like, mom, buy them and see if they're real real gold bins. I'm like, what? And I'm like, these are not real gold, period. You know, it just means that they're authentic and they're from Chanel or if somebody's just making them and replicating them. And I said, that's the only way you would be able to tell. So I sized mine up with hers. They look the identical same. I looked at the back. I looked at the serial number. I looked at all this stuff. So I felt, I feel way more comfortable than I did about three and a half weeks ago. And I feel much better now. But you guys, it was one of the most scariest things. And it was so like disheartening to know that there would be someone or some people that do that type of stuff so if I could share anything with you the lesson that I learned I don't regret it but I definitely learned a huge lesson I've bought with Poshmark before but typically with people I know I did not know this particular seller but I really wanted those earrings and I'm like okay and she had a ton of stuff on her page that she had been selling and was selling and whatever like that so I'm like okay so I just I got them but if I can share anything with you it would just be like because I've had some of you say hey you 
you know, I see this on Poshmark or I see this here. This is from a personal shopper. Do you think I should buy it? And I always go, if you know the person and you know the quality of what they're selling you or you know it's going to be legit and authentic items, yes, go for it. But if you are on the gate and you're not sure, then don't do it. I would say to myself, the lesson that I learned is that unless I know the person, unless I know them, you know, their work, I've seen them sell things, you know, have talked to people, I'm definitely going to do more research. I'm definitely going to do my homework. That is one of the reasons why I prefer to buy in store. I just knew that these earrings were not coming back to the store. They've made several pair like them, but I wanted this exact pair. So from now on, I just told myself, if you can't find a person you know that's selling it and it's not coming back to the store, then you're just not going to have it because I can't have that on my heart, you know, like what's going on? Is somebody scamming me? Is this real? Is it not? Like I don't live like that. I like authentic luxury, you know, fashion, beauty, whatever that I want it to be the real deal. So, um, that was my lesson that I learned. Um, even going with fashion file, the real, real trendy, um, there's a ton of different places that you can, I would even stick to places like that. But as far as buying from particular people, I won't, I even shared with you guys a couple weeks back that I am looking for that pearl Chanel bag. I have had so many people DM me and say, Hey, I have that bag. If you want it, I have that bag. And if some of you are watching, I completely said, no, it's okay. Because the, I just can't, I, I can't. I mean, I, if you're able to work with a personal shopper and you know them and you have a relationship, that's great. I don't know any personally. I don't even have a relationship with any of them. I don't think I could be, but I don't think I do. So if I can't find it in the store, then I'm just going to count it as it's just not meant for me to have it. Um, and if I ever do have it, then maybe I'll find it on the pre-love market at one of the, you know, pre-love stores where I can actually go and sell. I'm still going to stick true to what I do. I want to fill it, touch it, see it. So if I could share that with you guys, hopefully this helps somebody do your homework, do your research, do, you know, you might seem like you're asking a lot, send pictures, serial numbers, because right now you guys, they'll make it, they are making this replicated stuff look so good. And if you're not a trained eye and you don't know, we can miss some stuff like easily. You know what I mean? They've got the cards, they've got the receipts down, they've got the bags, they got, unless you really really know you can get duped it happens to some of the best of us so it, it does happen so be aware of that even in stores I've talked to a couple of client advisors that said that people have bought stuff brought in and returned it and returned the fake instead of the real and it happens even there so it's just like you you can't ever be too sure so I'm just saying do your homework Hopefully this has helped somebody. Um, I, like I said, I did get a bunch of stuff that, you know, assured me that these were authentic. So I'm just gonna go with it like that. You know, I had to do something to subside my heart. So that's what I did. You guys, thank you so much for sticking by, taking the time to watch my videos, for even clicking on it. It means the world. Please leave a comment in the comment section below if this has ever happened to you, if you've ever had this encounter, or where do you get your hard to find items if you're buying them from a personal shopper or from a pre-love website. Leave in the description box below. I'd love to know. Until next time, you guys, it has been real. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you don't have anything to do, there's some other videos that's gonna come on the channel. So stick around and maybe you could watch those too. Hit the subscribe button. Make sure you like this video. Give it a huge big thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video. Until next time, you know the drill. Be blessed, stay fit, and definitely stay fabulous. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.